Okay, welcome back to another video by Foco Web Design. And today I wanted to pause what I was doing to make a video because I thought it was so cool. How to use Yoast to be able to improve your SEO efforts using ChatGPT4. And here's what I did. So after some back and forth emails with a client, I was able to collect enough information about this project. And by the way, I had ChatGPT4 come out with an come up with an outline and come up with questions that it wanted me to ask my client so that it could better write content for it. So how cool is that? I had all my questions answered and now I was ready to write content and it wrote some content for a few pages. And one of the pages is a uh, PSA integration and configuration review for CW, RMM, Automate. It's a, a IT website. And so when you copy this and you paste it into our favorite um, AI detector, it got a perfect score, perfect. One, I've never even seen this. This is better than anything I've ever written. <laughs> and it's written by ChatGPT after some back and forth with a client. So for one, this video shows that if you want to make good content, get specific information. When you have the specific information, look at the results that it can produce. This is as perfect of content as you could possibly write. However, when you copy this and you paste it into WordPress, you get an SEO score as well. And over here, it scored red in both SEO and readability. So I thought, oh, that's strange. Such good content, I wonder why. So I looked at the readability, and I was able to get some notes from Yoast. 23.5% of the sentences contain a passive voice, which is far more than the recommended of 10. Passive voice is kind of hard to explain, but it basically is what it sounds like where there's not quite enough confidence in the article and you're being a little bit too passive. And so to be able to explain this to ChatGPT, what I did was I said, try again with the following tips in mind. Try not to use as much of a passive voice. And then I copied and pasted the link, which I grabbed from right here inside of Yoast which is an article that discusses what passive voice is all about. So I was able to show this to ChatGPT and say, don't use as much of a passive voice. Oh, and by the way, try to make it a maximum of 10% for this next attempt. Then also I did the same with sentence length. I copied, pasted, and transition words as well, because it didn't even use any transition words. And the sentence lengths were way too long. It, was, it used over 20 words, more than 25% of all of the sentences. So that is an SEO no-no. And um, the rest of this SEO stuff will fix itself once we get the readability score up a bit. So first I want to try with this. So I told it these three tips in mind, and now I paused and I made this, and I'm doing this live now to see the results. So first I'm going to copy this. This is the new version, and I'm just going to paste it into here and see if it got a better SEO score. And uh, it did get a slightly better score. Uh, still has a little bit too many long sentences. I could probably, but it did take out about 15, 20%. So that's pretty good. Just need to get it down a little bit more. Only 5% have transition words. So we need some more transition words. That's not a big deal either. I'll probably have it do one more revision. And then the SEO is just a mixture of the metadata and slug and my own efforts on here. And I'll fix this in just a moment. But the other thing I want to do is copy this and paste it into the content checker to see if it's still a 100 or not. Because if it's not, then I might just stick with the original. My god, it's still 100%, but it's better SEO. That's amazing. But you get the idea. And so I'm just going to run this a couple more times now and get the readability score up a little bit more. And as you can see, it made improvements on both of the um, the three requests and fixed one of them. Oh yeah, the passive voice. Fixed it, see? It's now green. That's great. And uh, also, yeah, wow. Well, ChatGPT didn't even comment on the fact that it read that entire article to figure out what a passive voice is. Um, by the way, this is good in general. If you just look at these metrics that Yoast uses to be able to grade, if you just copy and paste all these URLs and show it to ChatGPT4, you'll have a huge advantage inside that chat box because now you've trained it on the best methods that Yoast uses to rank for SEO. And you can do the same thing with articles from Google and all kinds of stuff to be able to help it understand the best practices. And uh, yep, 
So if this helped, like, subscribe. I think this is some real high value. So I hope people actually get to see this video and it gets views and so maybe share it, you know, if you think it really is worth uh, showing other people or keep it a secret because it's a really good tip. But uh, thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Like, subscribe, comment below.